The election is coming up. Days are counting down and we are getting closer to November 3rd. This year's election is monumental with current President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden vying for a seat in the White House. As American citizens around the world prepare to cast their ballots on November 3rd, tensions are escalating. This raises the following questions. How global is this upcoming election? And do people outside of the US care? Who will become the next president? We decided to ask French people what they think. Today we're here in Saint Paul near Le Marais and we're asking French people how they feel implicated in the US elections. 3 November, est-ce que ça vous dit quelque chose? Euh non, pas vraiment. Pas du tout. Il y a pas eu la COP21 ou un truc comme ça. Est-ce que vous vous sentez concerné par la politique aux États-Unis? Ça euh, concerne euh, un peu tout le monde, euh, je pense. Est concerné, c'est quand même oui. le premier pays au monde quoi. Ouais. Et... Première puissance mondiale Je me sens pas du tout affecté par ce qui se passe dans les autres pays. Euh, J'ai pas l'impression que, que les élections aux états unis aient un réel impact sur ce qui peut se passer dans notre environnement. Est-ce que les Français ont un devoir de s'engager dans la politique américaine Un devoir, je sais pas. Je sais pas si on pourrait changer quelque chose par rapport à ça. But do students at AUP feel more implicated Although some are more apprehensive than others, all students agree that voting is crucial. And if you don't agree wholeheartedly with one option or another, you can identify that one is very much worse. And so it's your duty yeah, to vote and make sure that that option doesn't happen. This is going to be my third election voting now. I'm probably not too stoked about the whole situation. Voting can be complicated, especially from abroad. As an American institution, AUP has taken the initiative to help students cast their ballots from across the ocean. I work with Celeste right now, our president, on the Vote From Abroad initiative. And it's pretty much been us who's driving the, when Vote From Abroad shows up, who shows up, getting the word out to students and staff. And right now we're working on hopefully having like one last drive event, um, maybe a debate, but we'll see how that pans out. And if you're American, it's important because I mean, you should vote. It's what we're supposed to do as citizens and everything. But does this importance extend beyond the United States? If Trump gets re-elected, I'm going to be very pissed because it's going to change like my international politics career. Things can change with the election, especially because from where I am in Canada, Trump wants to build more oil and gas industries and, you know, that's a huge part of where I'm from. In the U.S. right now, the problems that we're dealing with are like really social and like a lot of people throughout like all around the world can relate to that. For example, with the BLM protest, like we're all looking at like um, the U.S. like, oh, we're just gonna wait and see what happens, you know. And then maybe if you change in the U.S., it means that there's a chance for other countries to adopt that or like to move in a certain direction. Most students seem to have a clear view of where they stand on the upcoming election. But the question of how global this election is puzzles many. AUP professor Hall Gardner sheds light on the matter. Under Trump, our deficit has actually increased globally. Trump's policy has been a disaster in foreign policy. He claimed he was going to make a deal with North Korea. Nothing. Iran, as I just said, is linked tighter with China and with Russia, so they'll have military bases on Iranian territory. We had the Iran nuclear accord that was signed by the Obama administration, the UN, the EU were all behind it, and the first thing Trump did was, was dump it. We're seeing mobilization, the Black Lives Matter movement, um, other mobilizations are taking place. That's what the students need to come up with. From talking to locals, students, and faculty, it seems that the upcoming presidential election is indeed a global sensation. Regardless of who's elected on November 3rd, this election has the potential to influence the world. In the meantime, don't forget to vote. Go vote. Yeah, <laughs> Go that's really vote. the only thing. <laughs> Go out and vote if you can. I probably is the face of it should say, Go out and vote. You as an individual matter. Take matters into your own hands.